Hey Aquarius, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today we're delving into the person on your mind. What are they hiding, okay? This can play out past, present, or future, so take it how it resonates. If it resonates for you, any and everything that has to do with the channel or myself will be down below in the description box. I do want to say thank you for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookends, supporting any kind to the brand, as well as the channel is greatly appreciated. Aquarius, I feel like you just tired. You tired of something. Because like, as soon as I start shuffling this deck, I'm like, I'm tired of this shit. What are you tired of, Aquarius? You could be tired of the person that's on your mind. So you're like, let's just see what they had in now, you know? Smash the like button if that's you. We're about to delve into the energy first and foremost of the person on your mind to try to pinpoint, you know, make sure that it's them. And then we'll delve into what they're hiding, okay? So take it if it's your story, leave it. If it isn't, I will give a trigger warning, Okay. Spirit, let's go ahead and delve into Aquarius's energy. The person on a mind, what are they hiding? Please and thank you. So Aquarius, this could be a fellow Aquarius, okay? They just like you in many ways, you know, kind of like a nonchalant energy, all right? Kind of like a rebel energy. This person is always challenging something that you say to, confronts and calls out, you know? It's like you're, lately your interactions have been real 3D, Okay, and it's like, whatever you say to this person, it, they get confrontational. That's what I'm getting. And they pull away, like, immediately after. Yeah, in the 10th house, this person could have Aquarius in the 10th house, okay? Career, reputa um, reputation, and responsibilities. Okay, this person may... Um, they may, they may be not as conventional when it comes to, like, how they get their money, you know? But there is an energy here, though, that this person um, is more focused on that than they are with anything else. Or at least that's how they try to make it seem. That's how they come off. Like, what? I'm not even thinking about nobody else like that. Like, I'm not even dealing with nobody else. Why is you steadily thinking that? You know, like it's some type of energy like that where this person is like confrontational towards you. Okay. With the discipline, structure, realism, control, and responsibility. This person could be just saying that they have so much responsibility on them with this uh, imagination, psychic, sacrifice, escapism energy. You know, this person's like, well, I do so many sacrifices here and you still thinking I'm doing something else. Like I don't even have time to do anything else. Aquarius. I'm over here working. I'm over here taking care of the kids. I'm over here doing all this control and discipline and responsibility. I would never have time for that. Here we have solar eclipse. This is awakening, illuminating truths. Beginnings arise. So some type of beginning of illuminating truth starting to come out, though. Holes in a story. Okay, this could be the type of person that goes back to... Um, like update a lie so to speak like they'd be like no but that's not fully w w the reason why i said that was because this that and the next like going back adding on to the lie you know to perfect it more and more this person is real 3d like physical going through some karma right now as well what else it's also giving like a lower vibration you know, I feel like your vibration, like you vibrate a little bit higher than this person, Aquarius. And it's like a lot of things that they do are very predictable to you. OK, um, 11th house experience, future relationships, friendships, community. It's like this person is real 3D in their relationships when they communicate to others. You just looking at it and you see it as not as mature. Like I feel like you're somebody that communicates very maturely. This person, on the other hand, doesn't. OK, there are some type of tension, challenges and frustrations between the two of you all currently. OK, and how they view themselves. They could be in this egotistical type of energy because. Because it's like, uh, they're worried about how you look at them I mean, how people perceive them. And they're like, you shouldn't be perceiving me this way. You looking at me wrong. Libra, this could be a Libra, strong Libra energy though. Because I saw that in another card and I didn't say anything. So I'm going to say double Libra energy here, okay? This person is indecisive, but at the same time, they want to harmonize something. They want to try to get the conflict off of their back. See, purge, goodbyes, endings right? I feel like this person is going to pull away from you. They're going to be like, 
or if they already haven't done this in the past, in the future, they will, you know, it's like a repeating thing where they like, well, I'll just pull away from you then, Aquarius, since you don't value me. All right, since you want to put the blame on me, then I'm going to just pull back. It's almost like a threat. Three of Cups here in a pre-shuffle. They definitely dealing with a third party. Let's delve deeper for Aquarius. Okay, that flew out. Let's see what it was. Queen of Pentacles. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Queen of Swords. Damn, so it's two people. You know, I could go in... Aquarius, I could go in and I could be like, Aquarius, this is you and this is... No, this is two bitches. Two feminine energies. I'm sorry. Excuse my French. Two feminine energies. See, with the hair fine here. And the hangman. Two people that they have, that they're leading on. The two people that think that they have a commitment with this person. Okay? One of the people, they may be financially stable. Okay? One of the people could be like a baby mama too. You know, or somebody that they had kids with. Somebody from the past that they had kids with. You know, Queen of Swords. The other one is somebody that's like um, jaded a little bit. Like not jaded like that. Like toxic, you know. But it's somebody that's always demanding the truth from them. You know, somebody that they kind of deal with. That could damn near be you, Queen of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let's see. Let's delve deeper. Let's see. Knight of Swords. So this person is being communicating with the Queen of Pentacles, but not with you. King of Cups, holding emotions back. Yeah, this person holds emotions back because the lover's card. It's a choice between two. So right now they're falling back up off you. And they're dealing with someone else that they feel like is stable, you know, not going to want to like challenge them, things like that. Because this person is sneaky. Seven of Swords, your person sneaky as hell. Aquarius, the person on your mind, they sneaky. Hell yeah. And it's almost an energy of like, how you gonna know who I'm talking about? Is this because like, it's instances where you got factual proof. You got all the proof. And this person like, uh-uh, that's not it. You know, like they find some type of way to try to spin it, you know, for a sword. So that they could just like relax. So that they could fall back and be in this non-action. Like they know exactly what they doing and what to do if they get caught up with the nine of cups here. This is somebody that's selfish. They are focused on their wants and needs. Okay. With the page of swords. So this person watches to see. Okay. This is the type of person that's going to watch and see. They want to know like, am I going to be in a better relationship with this person or this person? You know, like they going to juggle before they find out. It's almost like. When they be telling you like, okay, don't quit your job until you find another job, okay? And then get your notice in. That's what this person doing. Y'all not fully broke up yet, but they over here out here taking applications, applying elsewhere with the hermit card here. You probably haven't seen this person in a little bit. Whenever this person go ghost, you know, for the most part, that's what they doing, especially with the 11th house. This is coming in under the 11th house. So this person watches, they try to, you know, they play a game because that's actually what the King of Cups does, play games, okay? Yeah, Ace of Swords, some type of truth is going to come out about why this person held back, okay? If you look into it a little bit further, you'll find out the truth. With the Eight of Pentacles, where this person been laying their head at, where they been putting time and effort into. With the Nine of Wands, you may not like that shit, though. When it comes out, Aquarius, you're not going to like this truth. It is going to affect you. You're going to be in this wounded warrior energy. Okay? The bottom deck is a tower. Some type of tower is about to fall, and it's unexpected. Okay? With the Ten of Pentacles, especially if you have a family dynamic with this person, that shit about to fall. If you've been with this person for a long time, that shit about to fall. Y'all about to break up, literally. Okay? Page of Pentacles. Because something is going to come in, and it's, it's factual. It's of substance. And it's basically the beginning of the end with that tower there. It's the beginning of the end. See, look, with the seven of pentacles in reverse, no more given to this situation. No more time and effort in this. That's what it's saying. Eight of cups, you're about to walk away towards your happiness, towards something that is more fulfilling for you. Okay? With the tower and the three of pentacles, you like, fuck it. I could just go out and do me too. Why am I letting you have all the fun? I'm going to go out and do me. Shit, I'm tired of being in this 
situation in this relationship where I got to go back and forth with you worried about if you cheating on me, this, that, and the next. How are you going to know if this is your story? Is because you went back and forth with this person before. This ain't nothing new. Okay, but I feel like you're going to cut that shit off. You're tired. You're tired. What else? They're hiding, hidden feelings. Something is bothering them, but they're choosing to stay quiet about it. This person has secrets. Okay, something is bothering them. Artificial love. They don't really love you and just stringing you along. Lies, lies, lies. So what's bothering them is about how they stringing you along and how they probably going to want to choose this other person. See, they're trying to go hermit on you. So that, you know, whatever truth come out, they like, all right, it just come out. But they don't feel like hearing your mouth. Like, I, for real, Aquarius, I'm going to be all the way honest with you. And I'm sorry if I'm cursing in this reading. But fuck this person, okay? You deserve way better, Aquarius. And when this truth officially comes out, I mean, it's coming out in a reading. But when this comes out before your eyes, just move on. That's my advice. Don't put no more time, effort, and energy into this because this person does not deserve it. Okay? Emotional abuse. They undermine your sense of self-worth and or self-esteem. This is some type of abuse this person been putting you through. Like, you don't deserve this. Okay? And then on top of that, look. Well, fell on the floor. Online flirting, social media dating sites, cheating. This person out here weighing their options. What I tell you? Taking applications. Okay, let me get one more. A friend is not just a friend. Something more is brewing, cheating. So this person, they got friends here and there. And something more is brewing between them and someone else. We even have, they're not always where they say they're going to be. Sneaky behavior. This person is sneaky. Okay, and they may even abuse you physically. See what I mean? Trigger warning. You do not, Aquarius, you don't deserve that, do you? Not at all, okay? If this person been hitting on you, grabbing on you, it's time to get away. Fuck what they talking about. All this, all right? Spying. They are snooping, hoping to get more information on you. See, this is the type of person, as if they haven't done enough, now they still watching you. Vindictive. See, they are lying to cause harm or to get revenge. See, this person, they just want to take away from you, okay? They even got secret money. They got a secret credit card or hidden money that they hiding from you. If I part the deck, listen to your intuition. What you are feeling to be true is true, okay, Aquarius? I am going to get that trigger warning again, but you know, certain doors close in order for other doors to open, okay? Moving forward, what is this person hiding as they move forward? Queen of Swords. So they hiding you, the Chariot card. Okay, they're trying to act like they moved on. They don't deal with you. You know, this, that, and the next. Page of Swords, they're watching you from afar, though. Okay? Two of Swords. Probably because you've blocked them out. I, th I see that you choose to block this person out. and But it comes after them blocking you out. You know? Wanting to get rid of you. Two of Pentacles. See, this person want to come back and deal with you. You know? They just... They want to play with you. They want to play around like you some type of play thing. This person pissing me off, Aquarius. Ten of Pentacles. So this is the type of person they may kind of try to come back and play that card. Like, well, we are a family. We do have kids together. We do got a responsibility together. But it's just like you're their victim. You know what I'm saying? Like, they want to abuse on you. They want to abuse you more as if they hadn't gotten enough. This person is toxic. But not only that, you know how the devil is. You know, people in hell want water, don't they? It's a type of energy of, of past misery loves company. When they don't even get satisfaction even moving forward. Go be happy then, right? It's an energy of like, why can't this person just go be happy? They getting what the fuck they want anyway, right? But no, they still got to look back on you. They still got to be worried about you. I want to make sure that Aquarius ain't happy living their best fucking life. I want to come in if I can and shake some more things up. Because this person is vindictive with the three of cups here. Okay? 
This person is selfish. It's all about them. They want people in their ass. They even want your attention. That's what it is too. With the six of wands here, they want to get your attention. They want you to feel like, oh, you just the best thing. I can't get over you. It's like something like that. They want everybody to want them with the four wands here. And they want all the commitment, all the stability. They want everybody to be loyal to them. Okay. King of swords. But what do they offer? Nothing much. See you and this person, King of swords, Queen of swords, you're coming out as this separate couple. Okay. You may even have animosity towards each other. That's what I see. But I feel like this person's will on to you has made you cold hearted towards them. You know, and you, anything in the future that's coming towards you, you're going to analyze that shit as it comes in. Cause you're like, I don't want to repeat a cycle. Okay. But it's like, this person truly cannot let you go. That's what I see. Despite all the abuse, despite all of the, the vindictive behavior, you know, and I don't want to say abuse lightly. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. You know, if I'm saying that lightly, I don't mean that lightly at all. Okay. Um, but this person is like, it's like, they just want to continue to do it. They want to have full control over you. With the Six of Swords, I feel like this is a, a difficult thing to move on from, but you will, okay? And they will have to move on from you as well, but they're having a difficult time with the Knight of Cups. It's like, what is wrong with this person? They get a kick, you know what I'm saying? It's, I don't know, you know? It's just like they are not satisfied. Despite everything, this person is not satisfied. And it's like, even when they get the person that they wanted, even when they show you that they didn't want you, all this and that, now they want to come back. But why? What's what's going on here? Like, come on now. King of Cups. This person, see, now they're coming in matching the other person's energy. They have hidden, and this person has wounds. They have internal wounds that they need to heal, possibly from their childhood. Spirals from their own parents. This person has mommy, daddy issues, okay? And they try to take that out on you. This person hasn't dealt with their own internal uh, flame, their own demons, okay? With the five of wands here, this person is so hopeful. Like, I'm so hopeful I could get Aquarius back just so I could dog them out again. With the high priestess here, it's something that they know, they ain't telling you about it, Okay? And you have, see, with the high priestess, it comes out. See, this person, they want to come in, secretly cause more animosity. With the high priestess and the five of wands, they want to come in and cause animosity. But why? You ain't did shit to this person. With the four of cups, all because they missed out on an opportunity. See, this person want to have their cake and eat it too. They want to control everything. And look how you looking. Really? Like, why are you here? Like, it's that type of energy, okay? Mm -hmm. With the Eight of Swords, because they all in their head. They don't know what's going on with them. They haven't faced things. With the King of Wands, they just want to passionately come in because they want what they want, right? With the Eight of Pentacles, and they're willing to work at that. See, vengeance, all that type of stuff. They don't know why, though. They can't control this because it's something that needs to be healed within them. With the World Card, this person needs to complete a cycle. Look, I barely could get it out. This person needs to complete a cycle here within themselves. Expansion of self. And if they can't step up to the plate, you know, they about to come and say something to you, though. Ugh. Three of Pentacles that they want to be with you, though. See, this person is just this person is just gonna add baggage to you. And when you see a way out to free yourself, free yourself. Okay. Because it's like they're gonna, it's gonna be a moment. It's gonna be an opportunity because this person gonna put their foot in their mouth. They're like, well, lead in. I don't want to deal with you. Da da da. You may find out about the third party, this and the next, right? But even after all that, moving towards the future, this person still wanna come and pursue you. Okay, they still wanna deal with you. They still wanna hurt you in ways like this person blaming you for shit that's internal within them own selves okay and they're needing to complete this cycle here with the seven of pentacles they expect them to come back hey i don't care what happens here expect this person to come back and try to pursue you okay try to invest in you all right with the ace of swords and you're gonna be like i can't believe this shit are you kidding me like, literally, you see the faces in these cards. You gonna be just as appalled as I am. 
Moving forward, what can I tell Aquarius? Romance. That you will still have a love life, okay? Don't even trip. Where one door closes, another one opens. But allow that room to be made so that something else better could fulfill you. It's unlikely that you're going to have a romance with this person. See, romance with this person, though, is very unlikely moving forward. But I feel like other options will become available. If that's something that you want, you know, I feel like you can have it. Compromise. See, this person is irritating. This person wants you to come in. Well, they want to come in and they want you to compromise, but it's unlikely that you're going to compromise with this person because they don't even deserve that. They narcissistic. A year from now, they may try to pop up in your life and be like, after all this time, I want to deal with you. You know, be assertive. That's what spirit is saying. I'm going to pull one more in the near future. In the near future, be assertive. I feel like some type of romantic opportunity will come in, though. Okay? If that's what you want, it will present itself. But, like, a year from now, um, this person could be really trying to pursue you again. And it's just like, did you think I forget what happened? Like, forgot what happened? I'm not getting grudges, per se. But it's just like, really, though? You know, it's that type of energy. See, you're moving towards opportunities for more abundance in your life. Like I said, where one door closes, another opens, okay? Forgiveness is there. I knew that shit was going to come out. Because what I tell you, like, we were just talking about forgiveness, right? You may be caused to forgive this person, right? So that you can move forward into this opportunity. You want your ashe to flow and be fluid you know that's your life force that's your energy and it also brings abundance in with it you're gonna need to take some type of action within the next few weeks and they're gonna be big happy changes followed by that your health is gonna improve and now is not the right time to act on any of these things okay yeah the answer is no but it's up to you are you gonna force something or are you going to wait until the perfect time and comes in because now is not the right time um i feel like to really be pursuing for the opportunity i feel like it's time to make room for opportunities to come towards you for potential to come towards you and it will okay and i even see romance in the near future but be mindful that this person is going to double back and it's not you it's them okay don't blame yourself don't feel less of any of that any type of things toxicities that this person tried to place upon you try to project this energy that they needed to fix within themselves they projected it on you and that's why they had this animosity wanting to abuse you wanting to like get revenge on you what did you even do but be in a relationship with this person okay but speak up about the things that bothered you like anybody else would in a relationship i definitely see things turning around for you and the opportunity will present itself but what's being hidden is that you are dealing with somebody that's sneaky their ways are going to catch up with them you're going to see through their lies through their manipulation and a tower is going to fall okay this tower is going to allow you to free your energy up and move forward okay but the choice is yours this person will come back in later on in life and challenge you challenge to see if they can come back into your life and be there permanently or end it for good okay for a lot of you all you end in that shit right now for good so if this message resonated with you smash that like button and if you want to see more reads like this one smash that like button thanks for your love and support as always until then peace and love